everybody! Welcome back to another awesome day, another awesome vlog. So today I wanted to do a video about hair extensions. I have tried and used a lot of different types of hair extensions in the past, so I thought I'd give you a little bit of information about how they work, which ones I like the best, and why. So first of all, I wanted to tell you that there are two different types of hair extensions. There is 100% human hair, and then there is synthetic, um, partially human hair, anything that is inexpensive. If you can get a set of hair for like $20 to $50, it is generally not 100% human hair. If you go like to the swap meets or buy it online, or even at Sally's, they do have a section of less expensive um, hair. This is a sample of it. I have bought one pack of the less expensive hair just to try it out and it's really, really shiny and it won't curl. So those are the two things I found about it. For those two th reasons, I don't like it because it doesn't, it's not a natural shiny, it just looks really, really fake. And the fact that I can't curl it, I want to be able to curl my hair like it's my own. So I am not a fan of the not 100% real hair. I um, would never buy it again and I would never recommend it. Spend the money, if you're gonna do it, it's worth paying a little bit more to do it right. So, as you guys know, um, I have hair extensions in right now and the type I have, uh, the brand that I use and I really like are Sassy. I get the 18 inch Sassy pack and I take them to my hairdresser, I buy these when um, I either have a coupon or some sort of special at Sally's is the best price I usually find. I can go in there, I can match it to my hair, and I just get the 100% human hair, silky straight, and it comes on a row like this. I then take it into my hairdresser, and my hairdresser puts it in with keratin glue. It is used in a glue gun, and the glue sticks are keratin glue, and I just clip off little pieces, uh, little sections at a time and hand them to her, and she attaches them. So this absolutely has been my very, very favorite way to get them done. Um, it does take about an hour and a half to two hours, um, but I'm able to easily take them out myself. All it takes is a little bit of uh, uh, fingernail polish remover, and some needle nose pliers and once you put it on you can just clip them just um, pinch them with the needle nose pliers and they come right off so um, this has been my favorite way so far i like this way the best but there are other ways to do it if you'd like to have extensions and not such a permanent way there's always the clip-ins so you can buy them with the clips already in they're absolutely beautiful that way but they are definitely more expensive if you're looking for something a little less expensive, you can buy the sassy strands exactly like this, clip them, and just measure from one side of your head to the next, and trim here, and then go ahead and attach the clips yourself. You can buy a pack of the clips at um, Sally's as well, and they just snap, clip in your hair, and snap closed around your hair. All you have to do is use a little bit of needle and thread and attach these on, and you can make them yourself. They are a little bit less expensive to do them yourself. The problem I find with the clip-ins are they don't always lay perfectly flat, so sometimes you can see them as the day goes on, and they start to pull, especially if I'm wearing the heavier, longer extensions. They start to pull on my own hair, and they get a little bit uncomfortable for me. But if you are just looking to supplement your hair for one night or have a little bit longer hair for one night, the clip-ins are really awesome. I have uh, two examples of hair that have the clip-ins, the clips already in them. These were purchased with the clips. This is a blonde set for when my hair is lighter. And these are a longer set. And then I also have a brown set that's a little bit shorter. And I just keep them nicely um, put away in bags and when I want to wear them, if my hair is blonde, I go with this one. If my hair is brown, I go with this set. And I can just supplement my own hair
care if I don't have extensions in at the time. Even if I do have these extensions in, sometimes I will add these or add a little bit of blonde to add a little bit of um, different color and thicker hair if Bill and I are going out or going somewhere fancy. It's just really fun to have them to play with. You can even get them really short. This is a set that I have that is not very long, but it's nice if you just want to, like I said before, add some layers, add a little bit of hair, it's really awesome. So, another way that I have had extensions put in where they actually stay in is the tape inversion. This is the quickest way to have extensions put in because they come in pieces like this. And they have the tape on this side the way it works is you take one piece and put it under a section of your hair, a very, very thin section of your hair. You take another one and put it on top and they adhere to each other like this with your own hair in the middle. As you can see, these are a lot larger than just a little teeny tiny piece to glue in. So they're quicker and easier to go in. You get a large amount of hair in with two pieces put together. These can be reused as well. When you take them out, you just go and buy a pack of, this is called Satin Strands is the brand of tapes, and you just add new tapes on. The brand of hair I got was Satin Strands as well. I got these at um, Sally's Beauty Supply as well, and I at the time had blonde highlights in my hair, so I bought a pack of brown, a pack of blonde, and she was able to put them in so that you could uh, show my um, highlights with the tape-ins as well. So that was really kind of fun, but taking them out is very, very difficult. There's a lot of sticky left behind. Even if you buy the proper stuff to remove them, I had a really, really hard time taking them out easily and getting all of the residue off my hair. That is why I stopped using the tape-ins, but they are quick to put in. They last for a couple of months, and then you can take them out, um, you know, you just buy the remover, but it takes a lot of time. So, that is my video on hair extensions. I just wanted to show you some different types, some different things you could do with them, different reasons that you would use one over another. So I hope you enjoyed my video. If you have any questions for me, feel free to leave comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, press the like button. Thanks so much for watching. If you didn't see the video where I went and got my extensions put in, click the button over here. And if you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed, click the button over here. Thanks so much for watching. Bye! I almost fell asleep. Bye! <laughs>